Welcome to Lesson 2 of Piano Video Lessons Note Reading Crash Course. In Lesson 1, we learned to read the note treble G, located here on the piano. And today we're going to learn to read the two neighbor notes. Beside treble G, um, we're going to learn to read F and A. So as you recall, we can locate treble G by finding the line which is encircled by the treble clef. Sliding this note along a little further, we can see that it is still in line two. This note is G, and only G. We can move notes into higher and lower positions on the staff, creating higher and lower notes to play. What we're going to do in order to read these two notes is move from G to the note above. So you see the G is a line note, and that the center of the note is like a bead on a string. The three notes following G are between two lines. We call this a space note, and this space note is A. So we're playing the note G, and then A, A, A. So you can see that A is a little bit higher than G. It's up, it's up the staff one tiny increment. And on the piano, that means it's up one white key above G. We can still reference G and learn the note F. So here we have another space note because this, this note is in between two lines. So this space note is F and you can see that it's a little bit lower than G. So here's G and a little bit lower than G, one white key below is the note F. So here we have G, F, F, F. So now let's turn to the lesson, F. And the first measure, or the first bar of the music, shows finger three on G, and it's showing us to play three, three, and then we're going to play our finger two on F, F. This makes sense because if finger three is on G, the finger that is already prepared to play F is finger two. So the first measure plays like this. Three, three, two, two. The next measure, we go to the second space note, which is A, playing two G's and then two A's. Starting with finger three on G, plays like this. G, G, A, A. So that's played with finger three, repeat three, four, repeat four. I think we're ready now to go through the entire reading lesson for lesson two. So let's just go through it together. I'm going to name the notes that I'm playing, starting in measure one, G, G, down to space one, F, F. Measure two, G, G, up to space two, A, A. Measure three, second line G, then A, G, then A. Fourth measure, second line G, space one, F, G, F, G. I'm gonna repeat that line without any breaks, keeping a steady pulse of quarter notes going through the entire line. G, G, F, F, G, G, A, A. to the second line, three on G. G, G, F, G. G, G, A, G. G, F, G, A. G, A, A, G. G, A, G, F. So now to reinforce the learning that we've just done, we're going to recopy the notes from this exercise on the blank staff that's provided in your notes. So the first thing we do is we write out the time signature, which is four quarter time or four four time. And then we begin by writing the note heads. So we make a blob for the note head G, two of those on line two, and then we go down to space one and we create two note heads there. Then using our ruler, we will make the stems going up from the note, like the lowercase letter D, and then we'll draw a bar line that goes from the top of the treble staff to the bottom of the bass staff. 
and I'm also going to write the finger numbers that were used in this exercise. So you can continue on writing out the notes for both lines of music and continue practicing this until you can play it steadily and until you've learned for sure that you know that the note treble clef F is found in space 1 and treble clef A is found in space 2. And of course we've learned already that G is on line 2. Great work! Join us again for lesson 3 where we'll learn to play bass clef F.